This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. We're now working on our trots. And uh, this is the seventh session where Annie's been asked to go on the contact. So it's, it's a pretty big change for both of them. Good. That's it. That's it. Now when her head comes up is when she's dropping her back. So you hold that rein for two steps as you use your leg to get her to step up into it. And then that's when she'll start seeking the contact. Like you'll need to start doing it right here on your outside rein, get her to step up into it and praise her. And then switch right away after two steps to your inside rein and leg. She's using her inside leg and leg when Annie's inside hind foot is off the ground and the outside when her hind leg is off the ground. It's, it's all right, this is new for her, right? Good, shorten your outside rein so she's thicker in the base of her neck. And remember, it'll be the two step thing if you feel that your arms are, are getting a little heavy, then they really are getting too heavy. And you're holding the rein longer than she should be held. That's right. Send her up when she does that. Send her forward and praise her. Okay, she's bored with this exercise. At the other end of every serpentine, you're going to add a circle now. Add a circle. See if you can keep her connected from your leg to your rein. Bring, her, bring the front of the saddle in more. More energy. You change the pattern and she doesn't like it. Go back to the two, two steps on one rein, two steps on the other rein, and praise her. Good. Then you're going to do a circle the other direction. Yep. And she's going to bobble her head a lot. It's only the seventh time you've asked her to stay on a steady contact. And that's a big change. Before she was a, right, we were riding her like a green horse, which meant pretty much a loose rein and letting her pick her speed, especially at the canter. Good, but now Sudi's getting ready to take her into training level dressage, and it's time to start uh, riding her more like a horse that's competing in dressage, which means she needs to show connection. And that's a connection from the rider's leg to the rein. Very nice. How did that feel? I lost my stirrup, and then she thought I was stopping. Oh, well, that's a good excuse. That was good. Anyway. Yes, that was nice. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, but on your circles, you're going to do half the circle, your working trot, half the circle, a slower trot, so she starts to sit down. The trick will be keeping her supple in the front, where she's soft in her jaw, soft in her pole, loosen her neck, and loosen her rib cage from your leg. All of that at one time. Good, good. Now, why do you think she's not holding as much? Maybe because you're not holding as much? Because that's what usually happens at this stage is the rider will hold the rein even a second too long. So that's why we do two steps left rein, two steps right rein, or whatever she can hold. It stops riders from seesawing on the reins too. That's it. So half the circle will be a working trot. The second half is going to be a slower trot, whatever that means to you. That's right, we're just changing the gates within the circle. Good, and you're gonna keep up with your two steps. That's nice, Trudy. If you feel she can, you can try three steps. But if you feel her pulling on your hand, you know that she can't carry that for right now. And neither can you, because you don't, if she's leaning on the rein, she's not coming from your leg. And stretching into your hand. Good, praise her a lot. That's it, praise her a lot. Good. Easy. That's it. Remember, you want spring in the gait, so slow down the steps now until she gets springy. And then when you do your medium, feel the spring? Now do a medium and keep that spring. So all you're feeling now is the suspension. Keep the spring. Good, Trudy. Just keep the spring. That's all that's important right now. Keep the spring. Good. And then go back to your slower trot, feeling that the spring is there, the slower trot. We'll teach her how to shift back more and stay on your aids. The bigger trot is teaching her how to go forward with longer steps. We'll still stay in balance. That's better. Feel the difference in her trot? Good. Now back to your springy slower trot. Praise her a lot. Because you'll feel this is starting to get her to shift back, isn't it? Good. Praise her a lot. That's it. So we brought Annie to a new place so she can get used to going to new places at horse shows and she's looking all over the place and being like a green horse, but that's what she should be. That's what they do. Good. Take your time. Keep changing. Now in every circle, you're going to do half the circle medium or working trot, 
half the circle, the slower springier trot. Back, back. That's I it. All right, talk to her with your rein and legs more. That's it. There you go. That's all right. Go over there and do serpentines down that side. Do something other than just circles. Like do small serpentines just on that short side. Keep doing things that make her think, like 10 meter circles. Change directions, come back that area again. Just do 10 meter circles. Now watch her because she's playing a little bit as she looks around at a new place. Remember to keep the two steps on one rein, two steps on the other rein and leg. That's right, do a turn, turn around right there. Do a, yep, do a small circle. Go back to the rail and turn the other way. See how, we, how you're focusing her different? Good, turn the other way. That, that's all right, you just have to stay a little further away from the fence. Have her turn her to the right, turn her to the right, right away. Yep, ask her to trot, get her focus back on you. That's right, find a place where you have enough room, turn her to the left. That's right, turn her to the left. Just keep changing directions, trot her, good, good. Turn her to the right. That's it, that way she doesn't know what to expect. Praise her, praise her, go back to being nice to her. Turn her to the left, praise her a lot. You want to focus on what she's doing right. Trot. Yep, you're okay. Make her trot. Again, this is typical of green horses. Our, our horses into a new area that are, are more green. Good. Just keep, that's it. Do you feel all that starting to work? That's it. Trot her again. That's it. Praise her. Praise her. Send her forward and praise her. Keep her feet moving. Do not let her walk. That's it. So you're just not going to let her walk. Whatever you decide to do, turn her. Just keep turning her like every 10 steps, you're gonna change directions and keep her trotting. That's it, keep her trotting, have her look at me. That's right, keep her trotting, have her look at the barn. Have her look at the barn. Good, good, keep her trotting. Good, good, have her look over her that way. That's it, have her look somewhere else. That's it, that's it, that's it. Have her look at me. Have her look at the tree. Then you're gonna look at the barn over there. Yep, look at something way over to the right. That's right, bring her back, look at the shed. Then look at the new barn. That's right. Good, is she starting to settle down? Okay, so now let's start working here in the middle of the ring because she started settling down there, right? Yeah. Okay, so give her a walk break, but don't go down to that end when you're tired. Yeah. Stay over here, turn her around, okay. get, her, get her walk back to a seven. That's it. <clears throat> there you go, bigger walk. You handle that nice, Trudy. It's just a mental thing and her going to a different place without the rest of her herd. She thinks this is really unfair. Yeah. First you're actually asking her to stay connected and then you've taken away the mares. I mean that is like, oh, cruel, uh, you are so cruel. Now give her a treat because she's being nice. Good girl, Annie.